We're going to create a train in this project. The first piece we're going to make is the train body. I'm going to go to Assemble, click New Component. Under the name, we're going to train, change it to Train Body, and click OK. I'm going to start a sketch, and we're going to put this on the right side face. I'm going to use a rectangle, and we're going to make it the overall size of the train. Um, we're going to go ahead and make it three inches tall. The train will be a little bit less than that. We'll fix it later. I'll hit tab, and it's 5.5 inches long, and hit enter. And we'll finish this sketch. We'll extrude, and we're going to extrude it out two inches. I'll now start a sketch on the front face. Starting at the origin, I'm going to make a rectangle that is 0.875 inches tall and 2 inches wide. I'm going to place a circle. A circle has a radius of 0.75, so its diameter will be 1.5 little dimension from the center point of the circle down to the bottom and it's 1.375 and then from the center point to the side is one inch. Then I need a rectangle that covers the rest of it so I'm just going to take it down from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. It's three inches tall by two inches wide. I'm going to finish that sketch and we're going to do an extrude and just take that top portion. It's going to be a cut so we change the operation from new body to cut and our distance is going to be minus 5.5 plus 1.75. What we want to do is leave 1.75 inches at the back untouched. I click OK. And then I'm going to start a sketch over here on the side. We're going to cut out the window. I'm going to come and place a circle. Make sure your circle is not touching the edge here. We want it to be inside just a little bit. And the radius of that is 0.5, so our diameter is going to be 1. We need to dimension that the uh, center of the circle from the bottom is 1.75 inches. And from the center of the circle to the back of the train is 0.25. Okay, then I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm going to place it right at the top of the center of that circle. And it's not snapping, so I'm going to go ahead and just type in 1. Hit tab. And we can do 0 0.25. And then I'm going to use the scissors to trim away the outside part of this circle, the inside, anything inside the rectangle, and then I'm going to get rid of the line that goes down the middle of it so that I have a semicircle that then continues on to finish out this rectangle. We'll hit Finish Sketch, go to Extrude, click this piece that we just created. We're going to change it to a cut. And I'm going to put it here to see that it's trying to come out this direction, so I'm going to need a minus and make it minus two inches to go all the way through. And click OK. OK, it left just a hair of it. <clears throat> so I made a mistake in that I didn't get the exact top of it. I'm going to come back and edit this sketch. And I'm going to make it go just a little bit farther to 
and that will take it out for me. Okay, we'll start a sketch here on the back face. I'm going to take a circle and place it inside here. And this one has a radius at 2.35. So we can do 2.35 and then do an asterisk. And it's the shift 8 and a 2. That will double it. Should make it uh, 4.7. And then we need to dimension that the center point from the side is one inch and that the center from the bottom of the train body is 0.375. Finish this sketch, do an extrude, and we want the intersection We want the distance to be all. And it's going in the wrong direction, so I'm going to change it to object and come around and click this front face. And I click OK. Hey, okay, now I missed part of it. It only took the top. So let me undo that. Now let's try that again. But it didn't grab this box as another piece, so I need it as well. I'm going to do intersect and again to object. We'll click the front face. And so it keeps everything that's within that circle. What we did then was make our curved, curved roof there. Okay, I need to make the axle holes, so I'm going to click on the side here and start a sketch. Replace a couple of circles. These circles are 0.25. In diameter. We'll dimension that from the front of the train center of that circle from the front is one inch and the center to the back here is also one inch. Then from the um, bottom of the train to the center of the circle is 0.5 and we'll do that for both of the axle holes. Finish our sketch, then we'll use the hole feature. We're going to click the two centers. We want this to be a tapped hole so that it has threads. And our diameter on it should be 0.25. That is the correct threading, one quarter dash 20 UNC. And we want it to go all the way through. And then we'll click OK. So that will give us threaded holes there. Start a sketch on the front. We're going to need some holes for our cow catcher. So I'm going to place three circles on here. They are 0.125 in diameter. Then we're going to dimension the top one from the bottom. Is it 0.625? And from the side, it's 
going to be one inch so that it's centered. At the bottom, these are 0.375 from the edge. And from the bottom, they're 0.125. And it's important that you get these exact because when you put the pegs on the cow catcher, they're going to have to match or it will not fit. Okay, we'll finish that sketch. We're going to use our hole feature again. Click our three centers. The distance that these go in, and these are not going to be tapped, they're going to be just simple holes here. Uh, we'll change the drill point to flat. They are going to be 0.125 deep. And they have a diameter of 0.125. And we'll click OK. On the back side, we have a hole for the hitch magnet. So we'll start a sketch back here, place a circle, has a diameter of 0.25, it's one inch from the side, And from the bottom, it is 0.375. Finish the sketch. Choose our hole feature. All of these settings stay the same. And our distance going in, it's 0.5 deep. and 0.25 in diameter. Okay, we need to create a hole on top for the smokestack. To do that, we're going to need to do a plane. choose a tangent plane. We're going to do it on this face and then click the top edge here and click OK. And that creates a plane on top for us. And then we'll start a sketch, select that plane. I'm going to use a circle. This one again has a, um, has a diameter of 0.5. From the front of the train to the center of that circle is 0.875. And from the side of the train, and you got to be careful that you don't get short of it, you want to get the outer line to the center of that circle is one inch. Finish our sketch. Using our hole feature, select the center of it. All of these settings stay the same. First option here. The depth of it is 0.25. And the diameter is 0.5. Okay, the last thing we have to do is add fillets on it. And there's 34 of them. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go around and click all the edges here. The distance on it is 
I'm going to try that again and maybe put my distance in afterwards. So I don't want to click any of the holes. I just want to click the um, all of the edges. So again, avoid the holes. Don't do those. And then you'll have to roll it around to get to some of the others. Sometimes you can see them through the object there. Okay. So I have all 34 and then I'm going to set my value to point 0.1 and it's giving me a error here. Um, not letting me do it. So, for some, whatever reason it's not allowing me to do it, uh, I'll work on that later. Uh, it worked inside of Inventor, so try to figure it out, but that's how you should try to do it. If it works for you, great. If not, we'll try to figure it out. But we'll go ahead and save this. I'm going to make a new location and call it Train. And then the name of this is going to be train body.